Good morning. For those of you that fancy fables and film, let's talk tall tales and high adventure. I'm Foxy Sellers, and I love the art of storytelling. If you would, go ahead, click the like, go ahead and subscribe. I doubt you'll regret it. You really got nothing to lose. You'll be keyed into videos just like this in the future. Now, as I do this intro, you'll notice in the background, I'm doing my honorable mentions. I'm not actually going to mention them, so I don't even know what to call them, but there they are. As we lead into the 96 Academy Awards, I'd like to talk about my favorite films that were nominated. Here are my 111, or some say 111, favorite films that were nominated. That does include those that won Best Picture, and it also includes this year's nominees. So to this point, there have been 601 nominated films by the Academy Awards. I've seen 472 of them. That's almost 80%. And I would say the ones that I haven't seen, not one of them is like a recognizable pillar monumental type film. Every one of the ones that I've seen, they pretty much cover that. Any of the ones that I have not seen, there's a good chunk of them that are like from the 20s, maybe half of them from the 30s, some from the 70s, some from the 80s. But I would call all of those... Uh, forgettable, non-recognizable, uh, did not stand the test of time. There's really no need for me to go out and see that 129 plus to figure out like, do I like this one or not? So I'm just going to stick with the ones that I have. I think I got a pretty good you know, grasp of what's good. And then the ones that I'm covering here, that covers roughly about 18%. If you include the honorable mentions here, that's about 20%. So 20%, that's the cream of the crop. These are the best of the best. In my opinion, I'm looking forward to showing them to you. Here's what I have deemed the 111 best of the nominated films for best picture. Let's get started. This wasn't in the design. I gave him the breakdown just like you said. And? It's good. He threatened to kill me. Hell, kid, they don't do that. You know, you're not getting to him. <laughs> Excuse me, Jim. Sure. Keep cool, Sylvester. Keep cool. Eat his liver with some father beans. And a nice Chianti. Well, I instruct you, gentlemen of the jury, that inasmuch as Peter Blood has admitted aiding a traitor to your king, you do bring in a verdict of guilty that he may be hanged for the high treason he has committed. What a creature must sit on the throne who lets a man like you deal out his justice. You're Norma Desmond. Used to be in silent pictures, used to be big. I am big. It's the picture that got small. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened to those marbles you were going to put in the captain's overhead so they'd roll around all night and keep him awake? What does that look like? Five marbles. Got another one in my pocket. Six marbles. I'm looking for marbles all day long. You are, all of you, amateurs. And international affairs should never be run by gentlemen amateurs. My feelings for the Major? You're staring at him all the time, talking to him for hours on end. Those meetings down on the front. Quite a lot of people are beginning to notice. Good man, 
and has done everything he can for me. I suppose there's some other good men here too, only they don't seem to realize what they're doing. I can't take sir, your queen. Sir, please don't touch the cards. Eat my own queen, Ray. There's lots of them. There's lots of them? Lots and lots of them. Like an old wind whistling down the sky. You are poisoned with contempt, Mr. Christian, and it makes you useless to me. But I assure you, sir, that the execution of my duties is entirely unaffected by my private opinion of you. seen you so beautiful. You're a monster. You are. I'm loud and I'm vulgar and I wear the pants in the house because somebody's got to. Open his curtains for him so he can see God's beautiful work and he'll know that even things like this happen for the best. Where do they teach you to talk like this in some Panama City sailor want a hump hump bar or is this getaway day and your last shot at his whiskey? Sell crazy someplace else. We're all stocked up here. Am I pretty? Yes, I think you're very pretty. Am I insulting? N no, not so much so as you were last time. Not so much so? No. There, take that, you cross little monster. If you wait till I put something on, I'll be right down. Nettie, show Mr. Neff into the living room. Where would the living room be? In there, but they keep the liquor locked up. It's all right, I'll just carry my own keys. And the next time you screech, ah! it'll explode into millions of eardrums. You'll glimmer on thousands of screens around the globe. Yeah, that's right, you better walk away. Go on, walk away, cause I'ma burn this motherfucker down. King Kong ain't got shit on me! Cause I just, I have to forgive you. I just have to forgive you, even though I should hate you. Okay, okay, that's enough. I just enough. have to forgive you. Really, honestly, I think that's enough. Okay. I teach you all you need to know, and then you go off and you make a million dollars. I don't care, you get your teeth knocked out, I don't care. <laughs> I don't want to hear about it either way. That's just the way it's going to be. It's the only way I'll do it. You mean the one you couldn't get to come to? This is the second time that you have laid hands on me. When you're slapped, you'll take it and like it. I'll give you odds. Kane's dead five minutes after Frank gets off the train. It's not much time. That's all Frank will need because I... Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Why do I stand up here? Anybody? To feel taller. No. Thank you for playing, Mr. Dalton. I stand upon my desk to remind myself that we must constantly look at things in a different way. See the world we come from. There's no green there. They killed their mother. Turn it around. I'm not turning around. Turn it around! Turn it around! Calm it down, mate! Calm it down! Calm it down, mate! Can I tell you a secret? I think you might be a songwriter. But don't worry, I won't tell anybody. But I'm not very good at keeping secrets. <laughs> You're the wrong pal. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. LAPD shit, Bert. Get the fuck out of here. I'll call your wife to come get you. Well, I'm turning in. Now, maybe I can uh, handle some of the more mundane jobs. Overseeing uh, bureaucracy, managing military, uh, energy, uh, foreign policy. Yeah, right. I like that. Get this straight, you coroner. 
You tell your queer ass nigger bosses up north they ain't never gonna find them civil rights down here. So you might as well pack up your bags and head your ass on back up north where you belong. Boy, go! Oh, oh, oh. And you get this straight shit kicker. Don't you go mistaking me for some whole other body. <laughs> You've got your brains in your dick if you think we're just gonna fade away. We're gonna be here till this thing's finished. It's about one boring man leaving another man alone. That's all. One boring man, you're all feckin' boring. With your piddling grievances over nothing, you're all feckin' boring. You bow to no one. I'm not going to have my reputation in that department tarnished by a bunch of fucking limp dick sour note flatter than their girlfriend's flexible tempo dipshits. Got it? One more thing. Eugene, give me that. If I ever find one of these lying around again, I swear to fucking God, I will stop being so polite. Get the fuck out of my sight before I demolish you. Is she in there? Get off my side! Is that my daughter in there? Is that my daughter in there? This straight. You're gonna get a guy that's been released by half the organizations in professional baseball because he's got non-repairable nerve damage in his elbow. He can't throw. He can't throw and he can't field. But what can he do? Oh boy. Guys, check your reports or I'm gonna point at Pete. He gets on base. He can get on base. You are a very difficult woman. Perhaps so, Your Majesty. But you'll observe care that head shall never be higher than mine. When I shall sit, you shall sit. When I shall kneel, you shall kneel, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Erica Bishop came into the store. She saw me. It was so embarrassed for me. She slipped out thinking I didn't see her. I saw you, Erica. Oh, speak again, bright angel. Oh, Romeo, Romeo. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Inspector Hancock. By order of the Commissioner of Police of Broca Province, I hereby place you under arrest for the murder of Madame Celine Villeneuve de Goffin Taxis. I knew there was something fishy. We never got the cause of death. She's been murdered. And you think I did it. Hey! Well, we don't work for you, man. Shh, 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 shh. We don't. You have my money taped to your boobs. Okay, technically you do work for me. There are four ways I can defend murder. Number one, it wasn't murder. It was suicide or accidental. Number two, you didn't do it. Number three, you were legally justified, like the protection of your home or self-defense. Number four, the killing was excusable. Well, where do I fit into this rosy picture? I'll tell you where you don't fit. You don't fit in any of the first three. Did you know that Troy Aikman in only six years has passed for 16,303 yards? Do you know bees and dogs can smell fear? Did you know the career record for most hits is 4,256 by Pete Rose, who is not in the Hall of Fame? Do you know that my next door neighbor has three rabbits? somebody that's so afraid of not winning they don't even try now you're trying right yeah well then you're not a loser 
Did you ever feel the prickly things on the back of your neck? Yes. And the tiny hairs on your arm, you know, when they stand up? Yes. That's them. in my shoes. So who's gonna be looking for him? How do you feel now? I can't move. You can't move. Why can't I move? You're paralyzed. Just like that day when you did nothing. You did nothing. Now, sink into the floor. Wait, 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 wait. Sink. By a strange coincidence, I was thinking of you. What the hell is going on here? This doesn't make sense either. Well, I told you, didn't I? What did you tell him? What did... Look, Chris, if you don't explain to me in the next few minutes what you three I are playing at... I can explain it, Mr. Drake. You can? Well, let's have it. Seen it before. Keep away from him. <laughs> What's the matter? No harm looking at him, is there? Don't be scared. I'm lucky. Take your hands off. All right, all right. He's a big boy, isn't he? Spitting image of his father. That was my kid brother broke his arm. You did a good job, Doc. You met my friend, Mr. French, the other night. His real name, Mr. French? Precious a thing to be buried in books, Miss Saunders. Men should hold it up in front of them every single day of their lives and say, I'm free. I don't know if anyone else knows that about her. I didn't think of it then, but I've been going over her face in my mind. Well, you're the uh, teacher, aren't you? Yes. What do you teach? English. Well, I never was very good at any student. Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. I may seem provincial, but frankly, I, I can't understand men like you. You always give me the feeling that you're laughing at me. Well, what'll it be? Lemon, strawberry, or lilac, sodbuster? You speaking to me? I don't see nobody else standing there. What do we do about the bones? We do this. This is what we do. <laughs> oh, my God, Miles, go. We need the full scope. That's the only thing that will put an end to this. Now, let's take it up to Ben, let him decide. We'll take it to Ben when I say it's time. It's time, Robbie! It's time! yourself. I mean, when you're having a drink with one man, you can't suddenly walk out on him because you're having another date with another man. You did the only decent thing. I wouldn't be too sure. Just because I wear a uniform, that doesn't make me a Girl Scout. Will it rain, do you think? The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. But in Hartford, Hereford, and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly ever happen. <laughs> How awfully fun. What have I done? Richard, do you want to get shot? Pay attention! Get out on your knees! Right now! You're going to do some praying for me, boy. And you better pray good. Hurts at all. Didn't you know? They can only kill me with a golden bullet. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody. When 
I want you. This is what you will hear. Oh, no, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I could never answer to a whistle. Whistles are for dogs and cats and other animals, but not for children, and definitely not for me. Were you this much trouble at the Abbey? Oh, much more, sir. Mm. I think none the harm. And if this be not enough to keep a man alive, then in good faith, I long not to live. You don't have any friends. Nobody likes you. Not listening. I'm not listening. You're a liar. And a thief. No. Murderer. Hey! Whoa, hey! What the hell? What happened to your face? Weightlifting accident? That sounds like bullshit. What? Say what again? Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more goddamn time. He's, he's black. Go on. He's bald. Does he look like a bitch? What? <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, George! Merry Christmas, George. Merry Christmas movie house! Merry Christmas, Emporium! Hey, look at you. I don't see an intelligent, confident man. I see a cocky, scared, shitless kid. But you're a genius, Will. No one denies that. No one could possibly understand the depths of you. But you presume to know everything about me because you saw a painting of mine. You ripped my fucking life apart. How about you, Mr. Connor? You drink, don't you? Alcohol, I mean. Oh, a little. A, li a little? And you a writer? I thought all writers drank to excess and beat their wives. You know, one time I think I secretly wanted to be a writer. I shall always love you. But I've known all along that Rebecca would win in the end. No, no. She hasn't won. <laughs> You said that he had accidentally cut his wrist again. You lied. Yes. And now today you've told us a new story entirely. The question is, Frau Helm, were you lying then? Are you lying now? Or are you not, in fact, a chronic and habitual liar? <laughs> Two fine bedfellows. You're so dumb, there's nothing to compare you with. You're dumber than the dumbest jackass. Look at each other, will you? Do you ever see anything like yourself for being dumb specimens? <laughs> to try our new beef and cheese pot pie on a stick just a dollar 99 for a limited time only we were just at a seminar uh buddy this is my her husband we've met before but something tells me you're going to remember me this time i'm luke skywalker i'm here to rescue you who? i'm here to rescue you i've got your r2 unit i'm here with ben kenobi ben kenobi where is he come on That's a bingo. <laughs> Is that the way you say it? That's a bingo. You just say bingo. Bingo! How fun! This. Yes. Better? What do you think? You have testified that he choked you. And he beat you. You didn't say that he sneaked up behind you, knocked you out cold, but that you turned around, and there he was. Don't you know you drove everybody mad? Shh. Don't talk. You speak so many bloody languages, and you never want to talk.
who's the fella who owns this shithole. But they'll never take our freedom! It is a strange fate that we should suffer so much fear and doubt over so small a thing. I want to thank you for watching. I'm Foxy Sellers. If you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel, click the like on the video. And as we gear up for the 96th annual Academy Awards, I hope, I, hope, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. All right. But I hope you enjoyed my list. Thanks.